You're watching Hooked on Utah on KUTV, powered by Ford. Welcome to Hooked on Utah. Today's adventure, it's all about hunting mule deer. You know, there's three ways to hunt them. Archery, muzzleloader, and rifle. We're gonna take you with me out on the archery hunt. Then we're gonna follow a good friend of mine on the muzzleloader hunt. And we're gonna cap it off with a school teacher on the rifle hunt. Three very, very exciting hunts. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the action. here. Brian's been seeing a, a group of bucks with a couple of quality shooters in it so we're gonna head out this morning on our first archery attempt and see if we can't uh, find us a buck to fling an arrow at. Brian's bad luck so probably won't happen. <laughs> was at our backs a little bit this morning so what we think happened is it's uh, the, the deer that have been moving up this draw kind of patterned them have winded us they've moved down to a couple of these islands and now they're cutting across so we're gonna we're gonna sneak down and across and try to cut them off he's laying down right here kind of a weird buck he was a spike and uh, just had a globule on one side like a couple of little fingers like he'd been damaged in his velvet he got up came up out of the sunflowers and then trotted off busted didn't work that was six bucks, three big four points, one big three by three. The three by three is probably a 175 class buck. And uh, that's just the way it goes. Oh yeah, right, that's a good buck. Only way to get him is to try to get in these sunflowers. all the way through an open field, got in that ditch, worked my way, I just kept crawling, then my back is tired. You're hunched over, my hands have stickers all in them from crawling, that's a riot. The last 10 minutes he turned and faced me and started feeding towards me. And so every time I moved, I moved when his head was down and then he would bring his head up and he knew something was up. So he'd cock it and he'd stare at, stare in my direction, then he'd go back to feet and then he'd bring it back up and look. He knew something wasn't right, but, and then I tried to move and I crunched the stick and he, then he kinda, he's like, I see you. That's a good buck, that's a really good buck. Big buck. I'm exhausted, I'm thirsty from panting the whole time. You're trying to be quiet. I end up breathing through my mouth harder than a Labrador Retriever. I think that's gonna be quiet. <gasps> It's awesome, man, the adrenaline. Doesn't matter if it's your first deer, or your 10th or 20th or 30th deer, it's just a riot. And you know what, doing it with a bow is a blast. It's an absolute riot. 
Schwing! Booked on Utah is proudly presented by Mountain America Credit Union. Your home, your business, your life. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. Interstate batteries, outrageously dependable. The Kengar Ford Store in American Fork, 800 by Ford. Browning firearms and outdoor gear, the best there is. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. Catch the big ones, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits. For the past 28 years, I've been a proud member of Mountain America Credit Union. Stop by the new Payson branch and see how you can receive a $100 bonus with any Mountain America checking account. Mountain America, for your home, your business, your life. Need a better battery? Get an interstate battery. Outrageously dependable. Should have had an interstate. Okay, if you're one of those round the clock, we never close, 24 7 types who doesn't get paid until the job gets done, the last thing you need is a truck that doesn't have the stones to bring home the Benjamins. No problem. Introducing the all new 2011 Super Duty. Thanks to its all new Ford built Power Stroke diesel, you get it all. The most horsepower, the most torque, the most payload, the most towing, and the best fuel economy. It's payday. The all new Super Duty. Low auto rate ahead, as low as 2.74% APR, only at Mountain America. Apply for your 2.74 auto loan today at your nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. As you can see by me talking to you, these are elusive animals. This has got to be like mule deer nine or 10, hunter zero. We put on some great stocks, had the wind perfect, but for some reason these, these uh, Donkosaurus Rexes are super hard to hunt with a bow. Get close, the ground might be cracking, the weeds, the wind shifts, the lightning cracks, gets them on alert, and these ones got away, but you know what? That's why they call this bow hunting. So my good buddy Ricky Haney gives me a call and says, hey, come on with us. We've got a couple of really big bucks located on the muzzleloader hunt. So we jump in his vehicles, his side-by-side -side and his wheelers from All Access Recreation and we shoot up into the back country. What made this hunt so much fun is we took those wheelers as high as we could go on the approved roads and trails. And from that point, we hiked straight up several thousand feet to above the tree line. And that one time I had, I counted 21 deer in my binoculars. And uh, we talked Ricky into letting us tag along on his uh, muzzleloader, kind of the last couple days here. That's right. And uh, we're on top of the world. He's gonna hike us up above the tree line with any luck. Ricky will drop the hammer on the most beautiful spike you've ever seen. If we're lucky. I've had a deer laying in the base of that tree. I've got it. Oh, my. How comfortable are you shooting out what range? I mean, what do you think if you, you need to get to what? 100, 200, 100, 150. Pretty brutal, straight up. Not for the pain of heart. That yeah, that tear right there, tears of joy. Looked at my watch, my uh, Sunto watch, 9,500 feet. So we've come up, you know, 400, 500 feet already. 
And as you can see, it's just wicked country. We had a doe kind of jump out of her bed and move away from us, so we know they're here. We're trying to get up above them, get around behind the shell rock, get positioned so we can come over the top and be right in above the valley. Wind right now in the afternoon is rushing up. Onward, ever onward. Pressing forward. <laughs> I'm here with Rex Allen from Allen's Camera. Rex, my favorite time of the year, it's hunting season. You know what, everybody loves to go out, they love to spot, find those big animals, but shooting HD video makes it even more exciting because you can come home and share it with your friends. And this is the Nikon D5100 camera. Um, it's, a, it's an SLR style camera that does HD video, full 1080 PHD. With this adapter, you can actually drop this camera right on to the spotting scope and take pictures of what you were seeing when you're looking through the spotting scope. Come in, see Rex or one of the employees at the Allen's camera locations or check them out online. You'll have killer video of those animals that are a long, long ways away. Check out that deer bed right there. That's where deer is dug out, laid down right here. It can see what's approaching. It's got a cliff behind it, so its back is to a cliff. They can lay right here all day long and see any predator or anybody coming. The deer we've been seeing have been down below us at about 5 o'clock. Brutal hike. Uh, right where they were. We got about, about an hour, I think, before they start moving. He's stuck up on this cliff right here on the very top. Coming this way. We're glassing. Ricky spots a good buck coming this way over the shell rock. We're gonna go over and see if we can't get on him. He was right there. Painted that cliff right there. About 40 yards away. We still have some more light, but we got a big issue. We got jet black clouds coming in behind us, lightning everywhere, storms. We've seen some does. We've got a bunch of does working below us. But uh, there's a couple of things. One, safety, safety, safety always. So we're probably going to bolt a little early just to get off the mountain. Don't want to be on this peak when the lightning starts striking. Now he's walking out. There he is. Big four. Big four. Our buddy, Ricky, who owns All Access Recreation, brought up all of his toys for us so that we'd have this opportunity to have four-wheelers and vehicles. Next time you're thinking about an outing for your family, you want to have a great time, you get a hold of Ricky Haney at All Access Recreation. Rent one of his vehicles, whether it's a ski boat, a snowmobile, side-by-side, -side, four wheelers, motorhomes, campers, toy haulers, all access recreation, they have it. They're your access to fun and memories. Folks, welcome to our Ken Garf Road to Success Deer Camp segment. This was an absolute treat for us. We got to go out with school teacher, Shauna. It's Shauna Dean. Now, Shauna is an elementary school teacher up in Millville Elementary, right Shauna? Yep, that's correct. Shauna drew a very special permit. She holds a Northern Rifle permit. All those schools that participate in the Road to Success, they selected her. We went up to their piece of property, did our live deer camp from, from the property, had a wonderful time, and then set out on opening morning to see if we couldn't connect with a good buck for Shauna. You had no idea that the Road to Success program was gonna lead you to the big game success hunt, right? No, not at all. No, I was very surprised. When it came up, I thought I better jump on the opportunity. As soon as daylight gets here, or the first shot starts, they're going to be pouring up through that bottom gate. They're going to hey, it's on. game time right now. First light, we're getting ready to roll out. Bronson's got us a good, uh, beautiful uh, buck tied up. So, we're ready to rock and roll. It's about three bucks per group, um, pushing seven or eight does. Um, some of the bigger bucks, they're, they're kind of taking control, they're leading here and there. Um, some of the smaller bucks are just off by themselves, off the front of the front side, down lower. Um, I've seen a lot of the bigger bucks still up higher lately, so I think we'll start out up higher, uh, see if we can get her a shot at a decent four point. We've got quite a few different different points that I want to look at in mind, so we can definitely get her a shot. You know, this place is loaded with animals. We're seeing a lot of does. We just saw four or five elk with a small rag behind them. We've got ducks dropping in on some of these feeder ponds for the cattle. Place is loaded with wildlife, so 
still super early, sun's just coming up. Right now, again, just covering ground, trying to find the right buck. I can't see him in the back. What would I tell you? The the That's a big buck. That's a big buck. Yeah. Heavy. That's why I was like, oh my gosh, that's the one we want. Okay, yep. Oh, wait. What's up? See him? We saw him. Yeah. I couldn't get him in the scope good enough. Right, and then he came up across the bridge and we saw him again. Wait, wait, wait. He's moving. Girl. Wait, did I just shoot? Just yet? And am I going right on? You're going to want to aim at the very top of his back. Ooh, 4.50. We're now gonna head to a little different spot of the ranch. We got does everywhere, just saw a couple of small bucks. Not what we're gonna let Shauna shoot right now this early in the morning, so. We had a good four by four, but he was off the property. Another small four with a three, so we're seeing some bucks. We'll just kind of keep working it and uh, see what we can come up with. Just a nice, good deer. I'm having a good time with my family, friends. Seems like that's the way it goes. Big one sneaks away on us. We stopped up on this ridge. We're gonna work our way up over the top. There's a bull, kind of an area that uh, they've seen some nice bucks in. So we'll, we're gonna take this whole motley crew up there and see if we can't get a look at an animal. So we just gotta be quiet. It's a, it's a regular crowd. Right behind the brush. It's clear. Let's go. Stay in front of the brush. All I can see is huge. Brunson. All I can see is Sam. All I can see. Look in there. All I can see is sunlight. Broadside to you, right there in the brush at the base of it. Now he's walking out. There he is. Big four. Big four. Every once in a while, innovative products come along for the outdoors, and one that we've come across that we're very proud to put our name with is Goal Zero. You know, they make a full line of solar products, lightweight, packable, so that you can have power in the outdoors. It charges your equipment out in the backcountry. It's very small, it's light, it folds up, it gives you the confidence in the backcountry that you'll always have power for your products that you're using for travel, GPS, communication, cell phone. Get one of these. Most gun makers just add a new feature to improve performance. Every component of the Browning X-Bolt works together to deliver the most crucial feature, total accuracy. The Browning X-Bolt, an all new rifle system designed for total accuracy. If you love hunting and fishing as much as I do and you're sitting back there thinking, how can I own a piece of Utah? I want you to go to utahsportsmanproperties.com. We're right here at the base of the Uinta Mountains. We've got ice cold springs running into these beautiful ponds. They're loaded with steelhead, German brown trout, smallmouth bass, the rich heritage from the Spanish gold mines to the Uinta Mountains right here. This is your dream piece of property. utahsportsmanproperties.com, check it out. Man, these are beautiful. I love Smith & Edwards, let me tell you why. I love the Western Department at Smith & Edwards. I like shopping for pink here at the Country Boy Store. They have an awesome selection of boots. They've got tons and tons of snacks. They have guns and ammo galore. But the best thing is that my dad works here. Smith & Edwards, we've got everything you want if we can find it. Time for this week's Snapshot of the Week. Connor Matthews' first deer hunt ended in success. Opening morning, this beauty ran out at 25 yards and Connor closed the deal. Caitlin Rich is definitely hooked on strawberry. Her first trip to the berry, she landed this respectable cutthroat trout. She also claimed top honors by outfishing all the boys that day. 
Christy Beagley took this beautiful 26 inch wide buck on the book cliffs. Christy's sister spotted that buck earlier in the evening and after a short stalk, Christy made a nice 80 yard shot, game over. Lori Tuttle, far right in the picture from Holden, Utah, outfished her husband and sons catching this 43 inch, 20 pound tiger muskie at Newton Reservoir. She casted, set the hook and reeled in the beast all on her own. The fish was released unharmed. Congratulations, Lori, you're this week's Snapshot of the Week winner. As always, you've won a phenomenal prize from one of our sponsors. Remember, voting has started for our tri-monthly grand prize for the Hooked on Utah Snapshot of the Week. The winner will be shown on our show. Oh, they've been great. They're a great group of guys. It's been fun, um, hilarious, and just been very hospitable. Had a great deer camp. It's been awesome. She enjoys this. Uh, she gets into it a lot, um, you know, and I really enjoy the fact that we can go and do things like this as a family and, and take the kids and, and uh, enjoy our time together. This is just one way to just get out there and just say thanks to our teachers, to the administrators, to the, those, all those that make a big difference in, in, our, in our kids' lives. And that's what it's all about. Right in the goalie, at the very top. The sage. Yep. Something that stops. I can't see it there. Uh. Oh, you got him at the head. Did I get him, baby? Good job. Yes. Did I get him? That is awesome. Yeah. How, how hard do we have to work for this? <laughs> hard, but it was good. It was worth it. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. It was awesome. Mommy got one up there. Got my crosshairs on him and shot. And He's gonna love it. He's gonna say that mom can name it anytime now. <laughs> he knows mom can shoot a deer and she's serious about it too, just like dad. So he'll love it. He'll talk about it forever. I'm sure he'll tell his cousins and his sister and all the family. Nice. What are we doing? Tell me what we're looking for. A deer. Yeah, who shot it? My son. My mom. Your mom? She do a good job? Yes. It was so much fun. We, we've been laughing all, non-stop since the, since the deer camp last night. The laughter was so hard, my tears turned into snot. I just, I, it's, it's, it's been a fun, fun 24 hours. What do you do here? Fresh? She's a pretty tough lady. She's pregnant. <laughs> yes, she is. How far along is she? Uh, four months. Four months. You got a trooper wife? Yes, we do. So we're lucky for that. And then we tracked him and tracked him and tracked him. Finally got him right here. That is a great looking buck. Nice buck, Shauna. Nicely done. Your kids at school will be proud of you. We just had to track it all the way here. We jumped it again and uh, got up. Shauna put a shot at him, put him down right here in the brush and uh, great end to an awesome story. Everybody was psyched out. You made a beautiful shot on a gorgeous buck. What do you think? You did good. <laughs> you did good. Come on. Give us a little energy. I mean, your kids yeah. back at, uh, what grade do you teach? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. You can grow up and be like uh, Mrs. Dean here, your <laughs> school teacher, who can rock it on the mountainside. I mean, that is awesome. Yes, it is. Got to be proud of that. You know, we want to thank the Garfs for putting this together. Road to Success is a very important program. It gives back to our kids. It teaches our kids to read. You've seen it in your school classrooms. Yes, I have. It makes a huge difference, doesn't it? It makes a huge difference. And then you end up being here because <laughs> you're a teacher that's heavily involved in the Garth Road to Success program. That's correct, nothing better. Hey, if you're a school and you're watching this and you're not involved, get a hold of the Garth. Keys to Success, Road to Success. It makes a huge difference in our communities. And you know what? You may just find yourself out here on the Garf Ranch shooting a beautiful buck just like Shauna. We're hooked on Utah. Stop! <laughs>